We've been talking about model selection, and one thing which can be a little bit confusing is figuring out what are these what are these complexity controlling parameters. Sometimes there's not really a clear-cut distinction between the complexity controlling parameters and the other parameters, but I wanted to give you some guidelines for thinking about which of the parameters are going to to play a role in model selection. So this is complexity controlling parameters. One thing, one sort of criterion which is which can be used is that they're not parameters that are used to fit the data. They're not used to fit the data. So what does this mean? Remember back up here to the regression example, always a good example to think about. W, the vector W, was being used to fit the data, right? When, you know, we choose a particular value of W for a particular basis function in order to try to get it near, near the data, right? But B, this complexity controlling parameter, the number of basis functions, was not really, I mean, in a sort of weak sense it was. So again, you know, so this is not, there's not a clear cut distinction, but B was clearly controlling the complexity, whereas each of these individual ones was, was pretty clearly not controlling the complexity. And furthermore, B was not really, it was not really, you know, affecting the fit to this particular data. So the, so a complexity controlling parameter, one way that you can sort of think about them is that they're not used to fit the data. Another criterion in Bayesian models, so in Bayesian models, the complexity controlling parameters or the model select the model parameters tend to be hyperparameters what's a hyperparameter so a hyperparameter put that in quotes a hyperparameter is a parameter i e parameters of the prior distribution for example over here in the Bayesian, where'd it go? The Bayesian linear regression, we had this, this parameter sigma squared, and this was a parameter of the prior distribution on W, right? So this is a hyperparameter because it's a parameter of the prior distribution. And so this was also a complexity controlling parameter. And uh, and this is a this is a this is a fairly fairly typical thing that that to happen is that that oftentimes you think of the hyperparameters as being model uh, model parameters or model selection parameters. So I just wanted to just briefly give you this little you know little suggestions for how to sort of think about these, but also I wanted to say that. There's not really a clear-cut distinction between what is considered the model, you know, what are the model part of the parameters, and what are the the parameters part of the parameters. And so you you pretty much just have to use your your best judgment. And most of the time, in a particular case, it's it will be it'll be pretty clear as to to which which are which are which. Okay, so I hope that was that was helpful. I guess the one last thing to mention is that. These complexity controlling parameters often, I mean, coming back to our original, you know, the original thing here, the complexity controlling parameters, they, they control how much data, how many, how much different types of, how many different data sets your model can, can explain. So they can, they control the flexibility to fit or, or explain the data. And that's what it all really comes back to. So when you're using your judgment to figure out which are the model parameters, and then this is really the, the key thing to think about, which parameters control this flexibility.